sea. So it seems alright at the moment. Make sure the microphone's still in there. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, having the screen up just a little bit higher, really uh, already noticed the difference. Now I just need to try and do something about the wind that's coming up under me chin. Now I've got uh, I've got the camera mounted up here, as you can see. So the main reason for the extension on was because um, the wind was hitting me right at the top of the just above the visor and uh, right now you can actually feel that it, it's up there so it's just above my head which uh, and I can still see over the screen quite nicely so I'm pretty happy with that so far I don't know about the positioning of this camera though let's see how that goes like a wires and all sorts of shit hanging off me so I'm just going to take it for a run down the freeway. It's a short run today. Just to try this out, see if, it, uh, see if I have any problem with that uh, wind buffeting my head. So uh, yeah, hopefully you can see it through this uh, through the, the seven black. Just that little extension I put on the screen there. What I'll probably end up doing is remaking the screen to those dimensions. And I'll probably do it with a slightly heavier perspex this time. Probably use a uh, I'll probably use what a uh, five mil, maybe seven mil. I'm not sure. Any of you guys who've got the screens on your bikes, you know, how thick is the screen, the material, the uh, Perspex plexiglass that you've got on your bike? Um, I suppose I could look it up on Aunty Google, but I uh, might as well ask you a lot. Uh, sun's, yeah, I always pick the worst time of day. Can't see a fucking thing.
know how much fuel have I got. I've got a full tank. I'll just go for a bit of a squirt down the freeway. I'll tell you what, it is uh, about 7 o'clock in the morning. Going down shortly. As you can see, it's uh, right there on the horizon. 